As part of the stored program concept, all instructions and data are held in main memory. In order to carry out these instructions, they must be fetched from main memory, decoded, and executed. This is referred to as the fetch execute cycle or fetch decode execute cycle. You see, when a program is loaded into main memory, it contains a series of instructions and data. If we were to think of it like cooking, the instructions are the recipe steps and the data are the ingredients. If you were reading a recipe, you would read the instruction, then work out exactly what it is asking you to do, and then you would do it with the necessary ingredients. This is just like the fetch decode execute cycle. A basic von Neumann machine follows a simple set of rules. An instruction is fetched from main memory. This instruction could do anything. The instruction is decoded to work out what it is going to do. And then the CPU will execute the instruction. Let's look at each of these stages and what happens in them in some more detail, starting with the fetch phase. At the beginning of the fetch phase, the first action to be performed is the CPU will identify the address of the next instruction to be executed by looking at the program counter. The CPU can then store this address in the memory address register. Using the address in the memory address register, the CPU will fetch the instruction from main memory in the address location. This will be stored in the memory data register. As what we have fetched and stored in the memory data register is an instruction, the CPU will copy this instruction into the current instruction register. This means it has become the current running instruction for the program. Finally, the program counter can be incremented to point at the next instruction ready for our next loop in the cycle. Now we have the current running instruction, we need to work out what we are being asked to do. This is the decode phase. To understand what happens at this stage, you need to understand that an instruction in memory is made up of two parts, the opcode and operand. The opcode is the actual action that the CPU will be performing. The operand is the data or memory location of the data that we will be performing the action on. Now obviously, something like 0010 is meaningless to you and me. We need to figure out what operation 0010 is actually referring to. We need to decode it. The part of the CPU that decodes instructions is the control unit. The opcode is passed to the control unit, which will then translate it into an instruction, such as a load instruction. Finally, we have the execute phase. This is the slightly awkward part of the process, as the steps involved with the execute phase depend entirely on the opcode in the decode phase. In our example, the opcode 0010 has been passed to the control unit and it has identified that this is a load instruction. So our instruction is load 0011. The operand 0011 is an address in main memory where the data we need to load is located. The first thing we need to do is copy the address 0011 into the memory address register. We can then fetch the data found in RAM at address 0011. The contents of this is loaded into the memory data register. As what we've loaded is data and not an instruction, this will finally be copied across into the accumulator. We have now executed the instruction. So now we have completed one loop of the fetch decode execute cycle, and so we can return back to start our next fetch phase. So, instructions in main memory need to be fetched, decoded, and executed. The fetch phase is where instruction is retrieved from RAM and sent to the CPU. The decode phase is where an opcode is decoded by the control unit so we know what action we actually will perform. The execute phase is where the action, as defined by the opcode after decoding, is actually run by the CPU.